Here we are then, it is freezing. And uh, today we are talking about this, the Bentley Continental GT V8 Mulliner and its potential as being the ultimate, ultimate daily driver because I think that's basically what this car is. It does so many things so well. Mate, I think it's the, if you had unlimited money and you wanted the ultimate daily driver, I think this is a pretty good shout. So, uh, very kindly, Bentley Monaco lent me this car to be able to um, live with it, as I have been doing for a little bit, and uh, kind of do like a recap of what that's all been like and give you the little things that I've learned through the experience. Um, and yeah, just share it all with you. This is a Mulliner pack car which means it's kind of the, the ultimate. Any of them are very nice, but you maybe saw, I did a video um, of the delivery of this. You know, I'll put links all over the place um, where I ran through the specific spec. So if you're interested in the spec, that will be online. But the Mulliner pack, so you can see the diamonds here, Mulliner, you can see it in the front grill as well. That's all new. So very cool. And as I have been using it as a daily, it has, you press the B right here to open the boot. It has been getting used quite a bit. So as you can see, there are a few things in here. I've been using the boot loads and I found out that, so a lot of luxury cars, they'll put like leather in the boot, like Ferrari Lusos or things like that. This has, you know, kind of slightly more traditional, but it's great because you're not worrying about throwing stuff in and out. Um, it's also the exact size of a set of golf clubs, which is, if you play golf, which I imagine a lot of these people who own these do, that's very useful. It all kind of comes into its own on the interior though. All right guys, so we're hopping into the car. I've got you on my head so that uh, you can see better. Marion's in the car. Hello. She's, she's gonna be next to me for this one. First thing, which is really cool for every day, is this little thing which gives you your seatbelt, um, which is a nice touch. You're laughing because I've got a camera on my head, aren't you? <laughs> okay, let's get the car started up. This is really nice as well, the way this can flip around and you can have your analog buttons, etc. I mean, it doesn't really affect your daily driving, but awesome. Now, one thing I will show you though, which does really affect the daily driving, is 360 cameras. So you can choose all sorts of different angles and because the car is pretty massive, um, it really does help with parking or anything like that. So I've been using this tons and really enjoying it. And the fact that it's a huge screen is awesome too. We'll put that back in this mode. I don't need it because this I think looks better and then for every day, you can get effectively all the information you need through the dashboard right here or through the head-up display, which I hope hope you guys can see. But the dashboard's really useful because you can flick through different modes. So you can have, you know, your music. So if you want to change the music, but leave this here, you can do that. But mainly your sat-nav, which is what you would use the screen for most of the time. You can have it in a couple different modes and have it either big or small on the screen in front of you. One button I discovered recently, which I love, which I haven't seen in another car yet, is this button right down here, which allows you to control all of the windows at the same time. All four windows go down at the same time and there's no pillar here. So it's completely open, which is quite nice. So when you're sat in the back, the back also has its individual um, window controls. That's quite a nice touch because you don't have any big pillar right there. Let's get driving a little bit and then I'll talk to you about, about what it's been like living with this and then also we're gonna try and uh, do a few daily driver kind of activities, fill the boot up, a few things like that. Okay, just wanted to show you this as well, how you can change the ambient lighting. Look how cool this is. See so all these lights around here is divided into two different sections. So the bottom down there, that can be in blue and then the red up here. It looks really nice. Anyways, just made the most of that tunnel to show you. But all in all, here we are in this beautiful Bentley. It is so smooth to drive. We are in comfort mode right now. When you start it, it starts in Bentley mode, which is effectively just normal mode. But there is also a sport mode. But to be honest, it never really makes you want to go into the sport mode just because it's already it's such like a 
a wafter kind of car and if you're driving it as a daily you basically just want to yeah cruise around in it and it doesn't make you want to drive in a sporty manner you can do it though you just flick through here then you can also put the gearbox into manual if we slow down a bit we can accelerate here now yes it is the v8 so you can hear it a little bit it is pretty punchy you can feel it. i could just see your head going back and forth at <laughs> the back there but i to be honest i like leaving it just in in normal mode cruising along putting my analog things here and just cruising i like having to i'm i can't decide if i prefer having the sat nav and big or like this i like having the analog kind of look there but there's something where you, you know you know it's not real so might as well make the most of having the information as big as you can um but all in all the few things that in driving it now have really kind of been memorable for me are the silence this car has so when you're driving along look all this road noise i don't know if you can hear it now that i've opened the window these double glazed windows once you close them just completely lock you away from the outside world it's pretty crazy and then the sound system name sound system which is uh i think an option on the standard car but comes with the mulliner pack is unbelievable that's really good mix that with the silence um, it just means you're completely cocooned in this cockpit of luxury here the steering wheel especially in sports mode the steering is so light you can really just steer with one finger but yet it's this sporty feeling thick steering wheel which is really nice with this big stitching on the inner inner parts of it and then the nice thick feeling leather on the outside it's a really nice combination there all the buttons you need are pretty accessible volume for your sound system uh, you know to pick up the phone uh, heated steering wheel as well um, is all accessible right here and anything for the front screen this is really useful because when you want to have this kind of pretty display here you can basically access all the information you need um through here uh, through this little front screen so yeah really good i've got my heated seats on right now the climate control is really quite easy to use one thing which is really nice as well is this big sunroof mm -hmm. gives you a, a lot of light coming into the cabin it just opens things up quite a bit so that's a nice touch there everything is quality just the indicators when you press on the indicator it just feels so solid so bent yeah i know it's something which sounds so basic but it makes a difference to uh, the overall feel the turning radius is actually uh, surprisingly good for a car of this size and you know the one thing also in driving which has really amazed me are the brakes the brakes are some of the biggest if not the biggest i believe uh, steel brakes to come standard on a car and they will stop this car which is around 2.4 tons i believe in no time and uh yeah it's just pretty impressive look at on here as well on these speed bumps again this is so hard to demonstrate but this is the kind of bump which usually just sends you kind of flying but you just waft over it like you're riding on a cloud it's so nice it's really a relaxing experience now the one thing which has taken a lot of getting used to and i'm not sure you'd ever really get used to is the size of the car if you were going to use this as a lot of people do as you know their do it everything car when i say a lot of people do i mean the extremely wealthy very few people who can buy this car in the first place and use it as a daily driver but a surprising amount of people who do buy this do use them every day now the only thing which i really kind of struggled a little bit with is the size of the car it is pretty big and there are a few cars which really kind of shrink around you like an s-class or things like that way it's surprising how even though the car is massive you don't feel it that much with this car it doesn't do that quite so much to be honest you do still feel the size so that has been one thing which i'm still taking some getting used to but anyways we're going to see if we can whack a bunch of things in it right now use it as a daily driver try and you know do all the daily things you'd be doing with a car okay we've come on to like a little road now oh god here we go just to see what it's like navigating around tight little streets yeah the car feels pretty massive and you can feel when you're like you know turning around little roads like this accelerating and braking you can feel the weight oh god we've got someone here now how's this gonna work okay so imagine you live on a lit ow thank you okay perfect example Right, we, oh no we've got another one so yes conclusion is the car is very big the cameras come on as soon as you're tight somewhere but it does uh it does help quite a bit she looked very surprised <laughs> she yeah i forgot i had a camera on my on my face okay new mission can four suitcases fit in the bentley so imagine we're going on holiday we need four suitcases for some unknown reason 
to go on holiday. Is it going to fit? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up? Oh, okay, okay. Right, I'm going to give you this. Okay. I think we can try and fit two in the rear boot. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so we can't fit these two there. So not the best start. Okay, let's try in the back seat. The annoying thing, so this leather, this Mullina pack. Gorgeous. But uh, it doesn't really make you want to put bags on the back seats, does it? All right, so can't get the things in the back. And then this, you put one bag in the back, but then the seat won't go all the way back. So that doesn't really work. So, uh, I mean, it's still got a lot of space. It's got a lot more space than my turbo. But for the size of the car, you'd expect to be able to put more stuff in because it is so long. But yeah, I guess the shape, it looks so pretty. Um, not, not ideal. So we're going to have to leave a couple bags here. And I'm going to keep going on with the drive. But there you go. There's a little test you wouldn't do every day. Okay. Okay, right. I may be very geeky, but this is, is pretty good fun. By the way, hello, L1. <laughs> this is, I think, you know what this is? A drawing, drawing of yep. my Turbo S, which someone made. Oh, let's see. If you yeah. know how to open the boot? Yeah, there you go. Boss man. Beautiful. Right, now then, I was going to talk to you about these doors. So, normal door, you open it, right? And it kind of swings to like one setting and you might have another setting here, but anywhere in between it will just swing shut or swing open. And so you kind of have to get out of the car while like holding the door, it's just not convenient. This will stop in any position that you leave it. So, and it seems like a tiny thing, but if you're using the car every day, like right now I arrived, I could open it all the way up until that, leave it and it won't open anymore. So you can get in and out super easy. And it's honestly just such a cool thing. So you just stop it wherever. And then when you want to close it for full, they've got, it's got soft close. So look, you just close it, close perfectly. There we go. It's pretty impressive, right? Yeah, it is. And I managed to park it here, not too bad. We've done every single parking exercise possible. But anyways, thank you for bringing me that. Little daily driving experience, coming to pick up a little package. And I thought I'd talk to you about the doors. Right, let's keep going. All right, let me explain the situation. This is my friend Lucas. Lucas surfs a lot. Lucas does not currently have a car here. So Lucas, uh, basically wanted us to see if we could fit the surfboard in there. Actually, what really happened is that I asked him if we could try and fit a surfboard in for the video. <laughs> He's not going surfing, he just brought his surf surfboard down for the video. Okay, so we need to see if we can fit that in here, because if you're a surfer and you like Bentleys and you have tons of money, is this the car for you? This is, this is useful consumer advice right here. Wait, would you ever pull up to a beach with a Bentley though? Be How like, hilarious oh, would that be? Just going okay. for my surf just session. Just to practicality to see if it fits. Just okay. to see. Uh, okay, so look, it clearly doesn't fit in the boot. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Clearly this guy's never surfed before. <laughs> so you won't buy it, Lucas. It's called Tetris. <laughs> bravo, bravo. I mean, Tibio. Yeah, it fits. There's other cars where it doesn't fit in the passenger side. Yeah, so look. Fantastic. It's ready to go. What a, what a great, what a practical car. Just stopped here, it is so windy, but look, we've just been filming. There are cameras all over the place, bags all over the place, the boot is completely full, and we've got Lucas in the back. Hello. Look at that, you don't have that much extra leg room, but... You don't feel like it's that tight though. It's yeah. really comfortable though. Three full-grown adults. Oh, let me get in, because I'm not it's freezing. sure about the adults part. Okay, yeah, but full-grown <laughs> humans, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about that, about me either. <laughs> we are in this car in total comfort. Heated seats. Which we found out, oh, let me put it on. When you put the heated seat on, what's really cool is that this is heated as well. Yeah, and the armrest, right. yeah, and the armrest over there. Oh, oh, there we go. Obviously you've got Apple CarPlay, all that stuff. One thing which has been frustrating me though, is the size of the key, if I can find it. It is huge. And I mean, it's very pretty, but it means when you have this in your pocket, you can't put anything else in your pocket. You can't really put your phone in one pocket or your wallet in the other. So it's slightly annoyingly large key, despite it being very pretty for everyday use, maybe not the wisest. Um, private, right. sir, private chauffeur for Charlie in the rear. Neck. <laughs> not too bad, is it? So we were, lit we were just stopped and we bumped into Charlie who needs to go to lunch and I was like, I'll, I'll take you. I'll drive you. Cancel so, the taxi. Cancel we'll the taxi. Get done, bro. And there we go. What kind of Uber rating would you give this car? The car, five stars. Yeah. The driver, one star. <laughs> <laughs> ba boom. <laughs> Touche. Yeah, check for the scratches down the side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is, it is just a waft reveal. It would be better to have, so they make this car in a four door version called the Flying Spur. Probably more appropriate for this kind of thing. But for a coupe, how are you feeling back there? 
made lovely space, comfort. Yeah, you got smooth, everything you need, right? The sound system. Like, yeah, the sound make, system. Play the song for him. Play the oh, song yeah. for him. Ready? 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 <laughs> Listen to this. Bit of hand simmer. Okay, there's something rattling in the something's rattling in the, in door. the door, so that's yes. a bit annoying. Is that build quality? Is that minus one point for build quality? Sorry, Bentley. Could well be. <laughs> Honestly, this thing, the more I drive it, the more I love it. I'm struggling so hard to floor it. It is so good at everything it wants to do. So relaxing, so complete. Everything you touch is insane quality. And it's one of those where you see it from the outside, you go, oh yeah. But then when you get in it, you, you understand. Anyways, we're going to drop you at your very fancy restaurant. Lovely. And we are going to go get uh, KFC. <laughs> <laughs> beef bar and KFC. But yeah, you're going to beef bar and we're going to go because we wanted to test out a drive through, see what that's like. So we're going to KFC. Look, I would trade I would trade my beef bar for a Bentley. So I think he's getting a good deal. Out yeah, of this to be anyway. honest, we're not doing too bad. We can't yeah. complain, can we? All right, oh sir. Have a, have a lovely there. dinner. See you. Thank you, mate. Take care. We'll you see too. you. Just text us when you need another ride. I will, mate. Five stars. Bye bye. bye. Off we go to KFC. KFC, here we are. And there is a massive traffic jam. Fantastic. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> are you preparing yourself for a KFC? Yes, sir. You're in your KFC position. <laughs> Cinq tenders, dix tenders. Cinq chacun. Allez. Bonjour. Alors, on va prendre un bucket avec dix tenders, s'il vous plaît. Au menu? Ouais, ouais, c'est tout. Ouais. Ça vous fait 17,40 en prochaine fenêtre. Ok, super. Bon Bonjour. Bonjour. Merci, Merci beaucoup. Merci Whoa. It's a big boy. It works. It works. It's Look, doable. cup holders. It's doable. It's doable. Did you eat well? It was good? That was perfect. It was pretty nice, right? Okay, now cruising back on the motorway, and this is unbelievable. This car on the motorway, we're in comfort mode right now, is where it just comes into its own. We were playing some classical music, wafting along, you hear nothing. Once you've got all the windows all nicely closed up, it is so silent in here, you whack your music on and you're just in your cocoon of luxury. And I think we've pretty much tested it everywhere, on the little roads, on the motorway, we've been through a drive through Maybe the only thing that's missing is to properly test out that sport mode on some sort of little road. Should we go do that now quickly? Okay, let's do it. We've got no one behind us. Sport mode launch. Oh my God. Okay. Yep. So it uh, it can accelerate. 550 horsepower, 770 newton meters of torque. It's pretty brutal, but it's not made to be doing this kind of stuff. I mean, it's much more comfortable on the motorway where we were before. However, it has the largest steel brakes of any production car. There is no one behind us. Are you holding on? Because we are about to test those brakes. 60 kilometers an hour. Zero. <laughs> Outrageous. And that's stopping a lot of weight. So the weight is something that you can feel when, when going around the corners. So the car is much happier in custom, no comfort mode, right there. That's where the car is at its happiest, on the motorway. Now I'm glad we did do that because it is interesting to see that it can still perform. But that is not what the car is meant to be doing. I think we've tested it in pretty much all of the circumstances. All good things come to an end, don't they? I'm heading now to Bentley to hand the keys back to this Continental GT. Just before we, we got rolling again, I was thinking, you know, conclusion on what it's been like spending time with this car. We've put it basically in every condition that we could. So, you know, driving on small roads, trying to fit bags in, even though we put the most impractical bags in the world on in the car, uh, going on the motorway, you know, small roads, driving faster now on those little, little roads there. Um, you know, we obviously couldn't take it into the snow or anything like that, even though I'm sure it would do fantastic because it's got four wheel drive. But this car gives you this feeling of invincibility in it and it just does everything with ease and it's unbelievably relaxing. Overall, I'm very, very sad, obviously. Uh, to be giving it back. It is such a beautiful car and I'm so privileged to, to be able to have experienced it over an extended-ish period of time. Yeah, I feel incredibly lucky. Really enjoyed this car more than I thought I would. 
you know, I knew obviously it's an incredibly expensive car, uh, you know, that they've put a lot of work into. The first Continental GTs came out 2005, 2004, I reckon. And then, you know, 2018, 19, they came out with the whole new model for the first time, whole new from the ground up. And then this Mulliner pack and the V8 2021 model is just, you know, the latest iteration of it. And all of those years, all of everything they've learned over the time, you can tell that it's come into its fruition with this car. You know, we've mentioned a few slightly weaker points. The fact that the car's really large, so on smaller roads, it's not the easiest. It doesn't shrink around you as much as you would maybe hope. But honestly, are a lot of the people who are gonna buy these cars drive on small roads? Probably not. They're probably gonna use them on the motorway or they're probably gonna have massive driveways and things like that. So it's not too much of a problem. So yeah, that's a little bit of a non-issue for a lot of people that will be buying these. Um, one of the things that bothers me, but is it really an issue at the end of the day? Like the things like the body roll, you know, when you're driving on a small road or things like that, which they become kind of irrelevant in this car because how many times are people actually going to drive them in sport and really kind of go for it? Uh, this is a car that you're going to cruise in, you know, if you've got tons of money and you just want a cruiser that's going to relax you, no stress, that looks good uh, and that just gives you that sensation of quality that I imagine you know someone who buys this has all around them in their house on their boat in their plane you find that level of quality in this car as well and that was the main key point I think that they had to nail and they absolutely have so yeah I've kind of completely fallen for this car it is a fantastic fantastic car um, obviously very expensive but uh, I think it, yeah, it justifies that. Look at this, Bentley. Um, Bentley, I'm so used to saying Bentley. 720S and Turbo S convertible here, very nice. I really enjoyed this and I really enjoyed kind of using it for our usual daily activities. And now we're back. I don't want to hand the keys back. I really enjoyed this. I'm just kind of getting completely used to it, but it is time we have to hand them back. We're back, look, Bentley Monaco. That's that guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you enjoy this kind of video. Uh, it was really fun kind of getting to know the car a bit more than just a quick test drive. So yeah, thanks for watching as always. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you again for another video very soon. Cheers, bye bye.